Hi Aquarius, this is Marishi and Masha Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as a man and what you need to hear from me. Aquarians out there, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. Aquarians out there. Just one more time. Let's do this again. All right. Aquarians out there. What is it that you need to hear from me? Your first card is this one. All right. You got a strength card. Seems like you're convincing yourself with regards to something. Some of you are expecting something. It could be a person. It could be something which you really want to come around. Okay? Seems like you're not going to give up. Or you're not willing to give up on it yet. You're holding on to this very tightly. Because you have faith that this will happen. Eventually it will happen. That is why you're holding on. You're waiting. Okay? Because you've convinced yourself. It will come through. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn, or probably, um, what was the other card? Uh, Leo. All right. Aquarians are there. What is your next card, please? Your next card is this one. Share it. You believe. You will be able to control the situation. Once it comes through, you are going to be in charge. Okay? If things were going in different direction, you will be able to pull it together and take it forward. You will be in control of the reins. You will be able to, you know, make things move forward. Because even the wheel card speaks about turning things. Okay? The wheel keeps turning. You will be able to make some progress but it has to come through only then can you charge forward only then can the wheel go in your favor turn in your favor some of you might be dealing with a cancerian you know the queen of pentacles in reverse seems like uh, the way you're thinking it's it's kind of not all that grounded I just want to say because I'm thinking that you're losing your shit. Pretty harsh. Okay? So you're not thinking straight. You need to get a grip over your life. With that chariot energy, you need to get a grip. Okay? Because whatever you're trying to convince yourself might not be the reality. Okay, you're just blinded by what is it that you want. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, another Sagittarius, or a Capricorn. Oh, I'm speaking to the Aquarius. All right, a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Okay, just one second. Aquarians, what next? Aquarians out there, what is your next card, please? What is your next card? Is Wands. I just, uh, while I was shuffling, I saw the three of swords. Some of you are hurting. Okay, some of you are hurting with how much you have to wait for things to come around. You want this to happen, but it's just taking its own sweet time. Okay, center of the reading is the Ace of Wands. You are hoping for this person, the Knight of Cups, to come in and offering this person is holding onto a cup. Whatever he has to offer has loads of potential with that Ace of Wands. It has the potential to change things in your life. And you're waiting for this person to come through. 
Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. Another Aquarius. All right. What else? So the whole reading is dependent on you convincing yourself that that this opportunity will come through no matter what. So I'm going to sit and wait how much of a time it takes because it will come through. What is your next card, please? Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles upright. You need to be grounded. Okay. Earlier it, it came out in reverse. That's why I said uh, you're losing your shit. So you need to ground yourself and think things through. Yeah. Uh, with this justice energy, it seems like do the right thing. Okay, in your situation, you need to analyze what's happening and do what is right for your own sake. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. All right, Aquarius, what is your next card, please? Is it cups? All right, page of cups. Seems like the person you're expecting to offer you this. Commitment or whatever it is, okay, with that Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, the way it fell out, it's not upright. It's 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 half the I feel like I always say half empty promises. Okay, it's flaky. It's it's very uh, childish. I always give this example. Uh, imagine. Earlier, I showed you the Ace of Wands along with the Knight of Wands, all right? So, uh, sorry, Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands, all right. Mm, there is so much passion here. At least from one person's end, there is so much passion. All right. Knight of Cups is a person who, you know, you see as the knight in shining armor. They have something to offer. But then, so it's a person in his 20s or 30s. 35 or something of that sort so this person comes through and you know pops a ring at you a silver ring a gold ring a diamond ring you know this person is serious but then when a child comes through okay and offers you a commitment offers you a plastic ring and says uh let's you know, I'm in love with you. A child, okay, a child, a school-going kid comes to you and say, I'm in love with you. Let's get married. What is your reaction going to be? If you compare these two people who's proposing to you with the same intention, would you give too much uh, weightage to this person, this child? than the knight of cups so think think of this person who's coming to you okay who is uh, you know whom you think is going to give you something solid this is what you're expecting but the person who's coming or who's around you whom you're expecting to offer you this commitment is giving you half empty promises okay with that ace of cups you think that cup is full but it's almost drained out now, if you just tilt the bottle halfway around, it's just going to pour out whatever is there. It's, it's just going to be an empty cup in there. They have nothing much to offer. It's just empty, empty promises. So there is a need for you to assess what kind of a person are you waiting on? Not exactly what you want to hear from me right now, but this is what, or, yes, four of cups. Whatever they have to offer, this is not what you wanted. This is not what you expected. So it's just rather than sitting and waiting for, you know, five years from now, you know, just get it over with. Okay? Just get your answers. Don't, just don't sit around and wait for this person to commit all that. Just ask them, where is this going? Don't make them put you on hold. My ears are hurting. It's, it's, it's quite negative. 
you are supposed to confront the situation. Okay? Because I feel like you are just trying to console yourself. Everything is going to all, uh, be all right. I will get what I want. But not this one. Not this person. You cannot trust this person. Not worth it. Not worth your time or energy. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. I feel like you will be disappointed. There will be so much regrets, crying over spilt milk, all that kind of energy. And I feel like there might be other people whom this person is involved with. You might know about it. You might not know about it. But this is not what you expected out of this person. Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. It's just like, um, yeah, so much conflict. Um, you felt very hopeful. You know, it's, it's like a wish and you felt very optimistic about this wish being fulfilled. Yeah, but there is so much conflicts. Maybe there are multiple people with whom, you know, you know, you're just not the one. There are multiple people whom this person is involved with. And you might be aware of this because it's stressing you out. All right, moving on. One last card for the Aquarians out there. This one. Nine of Wands, the anticipation, the anxiousness, the need to watch your back. Always being ground, uh, you know, guarded about this, not grounded. Always being guarded about this. Always have to watch your back. Like what next? Yeah, it's 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 overwhelming. The idea of uh, you know, uh, like I said, initially, you're convincing yourself things will come around with that three of wands. Okay, you're convincing yourself. You're like, no worries, just just a little longer. He just he or she just wants a little more time, and that's it. And we are going to be together. But even when you're trying to convince yourself this is going to happen, you're not really sure. Okay? It's quite overwhelming that things are not just happening. Okay? Yeah. Where things are going, you're very stressed about the whole thing. Just one sec. I want in reverse. There is a need for you to surrender to the situation, accept what is actually happening, um, and you will know what exactly needs to be done without me saying it. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy. Yes. Five wands in reverse and the two of cups. This is what you want. But this is like not fighting this anymore. Surrendering to you know this idea of being together. This is what you have been waiting for. But uh, if you ask the questions, you will know whether you really want it or not. I don't. I don't think you would want this because with the four of cups, you're like, nah. Is of pentacles. I would tell you there might be something better for you out there, but only if you have the courage to move on. If only you can stop looking back. Okay? That's it. I wish you luck, Aquarians out there. This is Marishi Yamachar Shaloka. Until next time. Bye bye.